So continue campaign. On to the next one. Goblin on the doorstep. So at the outbreak of hostility seven days ago, the British ballistic missile submarine SSBN HMS Revenge has just completed a quick turnaround and is proceeding out of fast lane naval base back to sea. Fully loaded with Polaris A3 SLBMs, she is now asked tasked to resume her nuclear deterrent patrol close to UK waters, but still in range of her assigned targets. Intel suggests that her passage to her patrol area may be compromised, as numerous comments intercepts have made reference to Soviet diesel and nuclear-powered submarines close to the western UK coast. No doubt trying to corner and sink revenge before she makes it out to open sea. The UK's independent strategic nuclear force must be protected at all costs. To this end, all other assets, hardware, and men alike are expendable. So my orders, HMS Revenge has departed fast lane to take up her patrol station. Soviet submarines are in the area. Friendly forces, I have a squadron of Nimrods, a squadron of Seekings. Of course, I have HMS Revenge herself. The SSB and escort frigates are HMS Leander, HMS Plymouth, HMS Matapan, Matapan Ow. And I have to protect the revenge at all cost. All right. I can just close that. That's a message from the last mission. So this is the box where the revenge needs to enter. I love this. This scenario I've, I've actually had uh, inter interesting results in. I've uh, This is one of the few scenarios I've actually had to play twice. Um, in one of my playthroughs, I lost the uh, revenge pretty much right off the bat to a enemy sub that was right on top of her before my uh, my frig or my uh, sea kings could get to it. And then a, in another playthrough, I got right as it was about to enter the box. Um, I had actually redirected my Nimrods to patrol outside of the box, thinking the box was secure after uh, after uh, patrols. So I moved them outside the box. Just to write as HMS Revenge is to enter it, um, two enemy subs popped up, and I just couldn't kill them in time, and they nailed the revenge, and uh, lost that one or lost that playthrough. All right, so I want to start this just to see if anything pops up. Nope. So we already start with a with a skunk right behind me. Don't know what it is. I have two Sea Kings already airborne. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a patrol mission that is centered on the HMS Revenge. So we'll have these, and this mission will be is where all my Sea Kings will be assigned to. So we'll just assign all the Sea Kings to that mission. And it will be a, these reference points will be relative, so they will move along with the Revenge. So there's my frigates, my frigates. Matapan, I will just turn back towards it. I'm going to use Plymouth. We'll just move on creep on kind of a zigzag here. And then Leander will just kind of patrol along the entrance here. And then as the revenge closes in, it will, I'll change their course to provide a uh, close escort. And then my Nimrods. So what I want, so next one, those two boxes, an add reference point here, add a reference point there. An area ASW mission. I will assign all my Nimrods. So I only have five of my Nimrods that are actually available for this and active. 
So keep one on station. There we go. Oh, I need to do something with. got my area all screwed up here that's better all right so we've already got a we've got one civilian AGI number one what is that I have no idea what this is not sure what AGI stands for. Yeah, that sub right there at the uh, beginning of this scenario can be kind of annoying. So a couple of skunks there. Oh, uh oh. Already got a contact. So this is a Soviet spy ship set up for ASW work. And let's see, it actually does have depth charges. It does have RBUs. So we are actually going to want to stay away from that. I don't think I actually have anything that I can actually use to kill it, though. What does the Modipon have? Um, so the Modipin ha here has, what's it actually armed with? Corvus DL, not sure what those are, just chaff? This thing really doesn't have any weapons at all? Well, this thing screw this thing. What's the point of this ship then? Why would you build a ship with no armament? Thanks, Belugan. Belugan has uh, informed me that AGI stands for Auxiliary General Intelligence Ship. That's interesting. That... Okay, so the Modipan here actually does, it's got depth charges in its magazines, distraction, so it's just chaff. It actually doesn't look like it actually has like any actual offensive weaponry. That's awesome. So we're going to send the Plymouth then, in that case, send it at flank speed, because it does have offensive weaponry. And we'll try to close the gap. But so far, at least, it doesn't look like there is any... Uh... Not sure what that symbol stands for. That's a new one. Um, but at least there's no enemy sub. For some, Maybe it was the AGI, I remember, that killed uh, the Revenge in my first playthrough. Maybe I was... Maybe or I thought it was a sub, but maybe it was the AGI that uh that killed my sub the first time I played this. But we're gonna send the Plymouth after there. We're gonna in that case we'll send the Matapen out there since it's basically just a censored platform. So skunks, commercial fishing vessels. Pretty sure that's the mine symbol. All right, well, just to be safe, we'll go around it. And the Plymouth is engaging the intelligence ship with its guns.
Missed by 870 feet, missed by 26 feet. And these guys need to get better at their firing. Missed by 720 feet. Missed by 153. We are getting some hits though. I guess we should probably slow it down. Maybe that'll, that, that'll affect their accuracy a little bit. There we go. It helps when you slow your ship down. Accuracy seems to be getting a little better. All right, we are getting some flooding on it now. All right, it's on fire. Missed by missed by 1028 feet. <laughs> missed by 44 feet. Man, what is this cruise proficiency set at? All right, so it is the intelligence ship is now no longer a threat, although I hate to think of the ordnance we expended on trying to kill it. So I have 136 rounds of, of twin HE left. So where is the revenge? The revenge is up here now. Get this unit going to flank. I'm gonna mark that as hostile. So let's get the Leander after it. Have the Leander go to flank. Now what's the Leander armed with? Um, seed Cat quad missiles. These AS anti-air all aspect. Torpedo decoys. Uh oh, we got a goblin. Market is hostile. And it goes, there goes my Sea Kings. They're going to swarm it. And the Revenge is turning away. Let's slow Leander down a little bit, see if... All right, so these Sea Kings will start dipping on it. New contact vampire number 20 detected by HMS Leander. Jump to location. Who fired the... Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Contact vampire. There's two vampires. There's three vampires. So we've got an SSGN over here. Where's it going? Looks like they're going for HMS Plymouth. And we got them. 
And we got more vampires incoming. Vampire. Vampire. Another salvo. So I'm going to actually slow down. HMS Plymouth has been hit and is sinking. Well, that sucks. That really bites. That's going to hurt. So we're going to redirect the Matapan. No sign of that sub and yeah, see it's eight five, so I guess uh that would explain why my gunnery is awful and why I'm not actually detecting the sub unless it's right on unless it's right on top of a buoy. Alright, so I want to actually unassign that unit from its mission. It's engaged defensive. What's it engaged defensive from? I'm going to bring it up along the coast as soon as if it'll ever actually stop engaging defensive. We're just going to drop this contact. Uh, I just need to remember what the command to drop a contact is. I should know this. Control E. And ROEs. More vampires incoming. Take off automatic evasion. All right, so these are actually, looks like they're coming in on, where are they coming in? They look like they're going after the Modipen, which the Modipen has no defenses, so if it gets in close, it's dead. Yep. Lost its uh but we do have that sub now. Well, this just sucks. I mean, I know where it's at. It can't have got far, and none of my units are seeing it now. Why aren't they dipping their sonar for it? Nothing? Really? All right. Don't obey MCON. There we go. Got it. Active sonar it is. Soviet Goblin assessed as sunk. When in doubt, when in doubt, go to active sonar. That always works. So we'll redirect the revenge. Have it at least go to cruise. 
It's going to cavitate, but we should be okay now. All right, so we're going to send Leander here after that AGI. Go to flank. Yeah, I know there, there's an SSG out there somewhere, but my passive buoys over here are nuts, are not hearing it at all. Oh, got it. We want to slow down the Leander. Let its sonar contribute to the hunt. We know it's over here. We got a piece of it. And we're going to go active on... Get my ECM going. Active sonar. Torpedo detected. Fuck. Sorry about the language there. It's got to be over here somewhere. Lander is sinking. Well, that fucking sucks. Mark that as hostile. Where are my ASW helos at? Probably shouldn't be sailing the Mattapan right over that sub. Damn, it really pisses me off that I lost those two frigates. Alright, so we got a hit on it. Where are you going? Are you out of weapons? You are. So get back to base. And a bunch of healers that are flying around with no ammo. All right, so Yeah, good point. I probably want to slow revenge down. I don't want it. Ca I don't probably want it cavitating. And actually, what I do want. Where are my Nimrods at? My Nimrods are stationed. Over here, I'm going to launch one. 
I need more ASW assets. In fact, what I want to do is I want to move these. like that and then I want I'm gonna take off one third rule for my Nimrods I now want them all flying so ignore that basically everybody gets airborne and everybody goes sub hunting with the loss of uh of those two frigates, I'm going to need the extra ASW 